Ginger Optimist. And today, I'm going to show you how I cook my family's favorite recipe, chicken tortilla soup. And this time, I'm going to do it with a low sodium base. So, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already cleaned my chicken breast and I'm going to place them inside a pan of water and we're going to cook them on the stove for about 20 minutes. So that's going to be the base of our chicken stock as well as our meat for the and soup. Black, crushed black pepper. I'm going to put in about a half a tablespoon of crushed minced garlic. And I'm putting in a chopped, a whole chopped onion. Okay, so now we're gonna put it on the stove and let it cook. So my black beans, this is from a bag of uh, raw black beans that I cooked in my Instant Pot. And I can show you on another video how I make beans in the Instant Pot. So I've got my black beans in the pot and if you don't wanna make them uh, from scratch, you can use the canned black beans. When I do that, I get them at Aldi and they're organic, low sodium black beans, so that works well. But uh, since I have the Instant Pot, I might as well um, cook them up. And I just saw a long piece of rosemary in those beans from when I cooked them, so I took that out. Okay, so let's put the rest of the ingredients in. Now I'm going to put in a can of diced tomatoes. Then I'm going to put in a can of fit and active cream of chicken soup. Crushed jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna put, because my family loves a kick to their food. So I'm gonna do um, probably three heaping tablespoons of the jalapeno, crushed jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna put in three quarters of a tablespoon of cumin, a teaspoon of rose, rosemary, um, a teaspoon, uh, you know that might, I think that's three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper, a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon, or actually half a teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with mother, and about six drops of Texas Pete's hot sauce. So I'm gonna stir all of that up, and when the chicken is done, I will cut up the chicken, add it to the pot, add the uh, broth from the chicken, and stir it, and then simmer it on the stove for an hour, and then dinner is served. We'll come back in a little bit and see how it turns out. Okay, so my chicken is done. I've cut it up, so I'm gonna place it inside the soup pot. You can cut it up or you can shred it, whatever you prefer. All right, now I'm gonna add the chicken broth with the onions and the garlic. Okay, and stir it up. Now I'm gonna put it on the stove and let it simmer for about an hour and then I'll give it a taste and we'll see how it is. Okay, so now my chicken tortilla soup is done. Can you see that yummy soup in that bowl? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tablespoon of non-Greek yogurt, and I'm going to put that in my soup. That gives it a, a creamy, soupy, yummy taste and texture. All right, and then I'm gonna take cheddar cheese and shred cheddar cheese into my soup. See if I can do that without making a big mess. You can put a little bit or you can put quite a bit, it's whatever you like. All right. 
And then I'm gonna break up a few tortilla chips, thus the chicken tortilla soup. Now for the big taste reveal. Let's see how this soup is. Mmm, it's good. Thank you so much for watching The Ginger Optimist. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not following me. I would be so delighted to have you follow me. Hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye. Bye.